With the brisk temperatures upon us, it's important to have the appropriate outerwear. That is the goal of one group who collects hundreds of coats for kids every year. 2822's Emily Alagrucci stopped by a yearly coat drive. She joins us now live tonight in the chilly conditions to tell us more. Emily. Good evening, Paula. It is a dangerously cold night here in Luzerne County and just the first of many within this fall and winter season. I stopped by a coat drive at Dallas High School earlier today and organizers ensured that no child will face the cold without added protection. Coats were seen flying off the racks in Dallas on Tuesday. My son's all set up with a coat, a scarf, a hat and gloves. He's set for the winter, I think. But as shoppers picked their parka, their wallets stayed tucked away. This is the 14th year the Back Mountain Police Association sponsored warm coats for kids. It's great to be able to give back to the community, help out children who actually need, need help. Kids who otherwise wouldn't have a coat or a coat to fit them for the winter time. The drive ensures all children have a jacket for the cold months. And as families navigate different obstacles this year, they are thankful for the helping hand. Last year, my kids lost both of their coats. And as it, with the flurries came in this today, this season, this week, I just thought, dang, what am I going to do? I did move here from California, so like I'm not used to the cold. And so me and my son haven't really been very acclimated. So it's nice that they help us out like this. Each year, the group aims to gather at least 500 coats, but they never stop once they hit their quota. Each year we try to improve and collect more coats and get them out to the children that need them. And we find that there is a very significant need, especially in this economy. The hundreds of coats that will be keeping Back Mountain children warm this season were donated by the community, something that families are feeling very grateful for. I'm a single mom and times are hard and then I got this text message that this event was going on and I'm just so grateful that our family is cared for and loved by our community. And the drive is just as beneficial to those behind the racks of coats. We get to see the actual children we're helping and they get to realize that the police aren't just some scary person. We're here to help them and make sure they're safe and taken care of. The Back Mountain Police Association will be hosting their largest coat drive this Sunday with a special appearance by the man in the red suit himself. Emily Allegrucci, 2822 News, reporting live, sending it back to you in the studio, Paula. All right, Emily, thank you for that.